Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. You saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. This isn't the vlog we were hoping to film today because we're taking the Gallardo back up to make some models. Long term viewers, you'll remember back in May I took the Gallardo on Gold Rush Rally and uh, well, we ran into some issues. The car broke down on me in northern Utah. I had to get it towed back to this garage. I was kind of assuming the worst. I thought the car needed a full clutch rebuild, but in fact, they bled the system, found that there was an air pocket in the clutch line, and it was good as new. Awesome news, incredible news. The symptoms uh, from the previous breakdown, well, they've returned. The clutch pedal is super, super soft. Bite point is super low as well. The full clutch rebuild on this car is $7,500. Yeah. I don't think the car needs a full clutch rebuild. I think master cylinder or slave cylinder is probably the culprit. Well, we'll see. We will see. I'm waiting up for Matt. He's got the, uh, the green 570S. He's gonna be going up to make some models as well because he has a slow leak in one of the front tires. Also, peep the new garage mate, 575M Marinello. Once again. All right, we are cruising in fifth all the way to make some models. All the way. Keep the 570 in the rear view. Looks so good. It's super stressful driving the car like this. Your heart rate elevates. You have to be so much more aware of everything going around you because I can't change gears once again. I really want to take this car to Monterey Car Week in two weeks. So I need to get this issue taken care of. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take the Wrangler which is fine, but for car week, like it's so much more fun to have the Lambo. Come on, Matt, do it for the vlog, do it for the vlog. Yeah. This car looks incredible lowered. It looks so good. <laughs> what a mate. Oh, he's doing it again. You should have seen that smug grin. You guys couldn't see it. That was the most smug grin I've ever seen from Matt. Ah, uh, what a mate, what a mate. This is where the stress level is going to intensify because rather than just cruising in fifth, as you can see, we have a red light. So I'm going to push in the clutch. Oh my goodness, that is... Oh gosh. This is our favorite underpass. This is our favorite underpass and we don't get to enjoy it. time even under stress even I okay the fun is over this is a precarious situation I have to get the car into reverse to park it here oh geez yep, yep that's what happens um, okay start the car reverse I'm gonna pump I'm gonna pump the clutch when I pump it I get a little bit more pressure pump it I don't know. Sorry. My, I can't get my car. I'll, I'll guide you through. I can't get into reverse. Hey, how's it going? Does you need a push? Yeah, I can't get into reverse now. Okay. Lift. <laughs> Looks good. Tie the nose lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Shit, they know you're gonna put time on the video. It's <laughs> unmarked. <laughs> there Carbon ceramic brakes, 570. Just pulled the tire off. Has a slow leak. 
tiny little oh, hole. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, see. And he actually had to soap it up pretty good. There, you can see the cause of the puncture. Doesn't take much. Does not take much. There's these foam pads in the tire. It's for sound deadening. Who knew? The more you know. This car, I'm in love with it. Manual transmission. Just look at the girth of those exhaust pipes. All right, thank you, makes and models. I am heading in to the 570. Matt has so kindly opened up the boot. Put my go kart cones in here, as well as the backpack. This color, guys, in the direct sunlight, it is sensational. Like you can see all the flakes in it. My goodness. What a color, what a color. So obviously the food vlog is back, we're getting some lunch. And, uh, well, the place looks pretty good, it looks good. This place is a bit fancy. It's very, I mean, there's a waterfall. There's a waterfall. Oh, guys, I just got the turkey club, I feel incredible. Now, for obvious reasons, it wasn't appropriate to do a proper food vlog. What's up, guys? No, How's it going? Isn't that a beautiful car? It's ridiculous. What's up, dude? Nothing much. Going with you. How's it going, man? Getting the, the Uber. This is my Uber. Yeah, that's the best Uber I've ever seen. Oh, the smell of Alcantara. That's the smell of burning hot. Is that <laughs> the burning, burning smell of Alcantara? If you own a 570 and you're watching this video, lower your car right now. So in the front, it's 1.2 inches lower, and in the back, it's one inch lower. It just gives the car the meanest, meanest look. It's like, it's like the P1 in race mode. That's exactly what it is. P1 in race mode. Remember how I told you Clayton is always working? So Faith is detailing the Macan. He is doing window tint. This is Bailey's Jetta. Dude, Bailey, my man. It's gonna look good. Also, Clayton Stark got a haircut. I got a haircut. Wow. Yeah, check when it out. When was the last time you cut it? It looks good. Five years ago. Five years ago. Yeah. <sighs> Gallardo. Gallardo. So, more than likely there's an issue with either the master cylinder or the slave cylinder. We're hoping it's the master cylinder because the slave cylinder is located in the bell housing. To access the bell housing, you have to drop the entire transmission. To drop the transmission, you have to remove the back bumper as well as the exhaust. From a labor standpoint, it's right around $2,500 just to, just to get to the slave cylinder. $2,500 of labor just to drop the transmission if we're already in there and the clutch needs replaced, well, we'll replace it as well. So when the car is torn apart, I'm gonna try to get up to Layton to show it to you guys, kinda see what it looks like in pieces. The goal is to have the car done by Car Week, Monterey Car Week. I leave for that roughly a week and a half from today. So there's a bit of a time crunch. The saving grace, the saving grace is that, well, the food vlog. The food vlog is back. So Matt and Brandon, they have an awesome Airbnb up in the mountains. It's my understanding they're cooking some steaks right now. So, you know, yeah, sure the Gallardo's having its issues, but uh, oh, I got it. This evening's food vlog is taking place at the tower house. Oh, I can smell the sirloin. There it is. Oh. So, this view, we got Park City right there. And then OG subscribers, do you remember when I did the donuts in the Gallardo right after I bought it? This parking lot right here. Exactly. We've had food vlogs and then we've had this food vlog. Perhaps the greatest food vlog of all food vlogs. We got the steak, we got yeah. mac and cheese, root beer. We got a dog vlog going on as well. And then we have asparagus. And it, oh, oh, oh yeah. No, actually like, I love asparagus, asparagus is good. I love asparagus. 
I mean, I have mac and cheese, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> they really, yeah, they skip leg day. Oh. Do it again, <laughs> do it oh. again. Do it for the block. Brandon. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> we got the porcupine vlog right there. Sorry, I mean. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> focus, focus, focus. So I I just realized that I forgot to end the vlog. So I'm doing it here creepily. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like squad, like squad. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash the like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out. <laughs>